All right, now we're going to install the oil filter canister and the coil. These oil filter canisters, it's a bypass, it's a bypass filtration system. It has a T from the fuel system, from the oil system, comes up, goes into the, the oil filter, and then it comes back and returns back to the case. Now, uh, I restore these for people. Uh, this particular one is an H filter. See, I do the, it's all powder coated. I got the little stickers. You see this little white triangle? As far as I know, I'm the only person that has this sticker. But uh, I do the frames, which are orange and black, and I do the H filters, which are usually silver and purple and black. So this is the, the bracket that goes right here. Uh, there's at least two different Fram brackets and at least two different H filter brackets. But this particular one, it's just got some long bolts and it goes through, it goes all the way through the fan shroud and you bolt it on the other side here. It's just a you know, 10 millimeter nut, that's all there is to it. So we'll get this one started. And then uh, and then it uses the same it uses this bolt for mounting the coil and this one. So I've already put a screw in the other bracket here. But we'll go ahead, we'll get this bracket installed. And that's just 10 millimeter. That's all there is to that. Like I said, I was doing the coil. I guess I should have left this one a little bit loose, shouldn't I? And that one just goes on there. Goes behind it. Come on. And once you finagle this washer out of the way, so you can put the coil behind it, son of a gun doesn't want to go. It's the, there we go. It's the simple things that get you. So we got that on there. Then we're going to put the oil filter canister in. Now the uh, the filter, there's a couple different styles of filters, but they're all, as far as I know, they're all 40 micron filters. Coils mounted. So end last means entrance or inlet. So we'll get this one on here. And I put this on a little bit too tight, haven't I? That's, that's always something. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Crank it up. Almost got it. 
There we go. Now we can put this filter canister in there. I like to leave it so you can still read the decals. We'll tighten this. Now the oil fittings are interesting. First of all, they're 12 millimeter, which you just don't see very much of on German cars. But uh, the other thing I think is interesting is there not, these fittings that are on there, uh, they're not really meant for oil service. They're actually metric grease fittings is what they really are. I did some detective work and figured that out. I thought that was kind of interesting. You know, why did they do that? I wonder. Must be a good reason. So we'll get these on here. Get this tightened. As you can see, it's not the easiest thing to get to, but we got it. Now, I'm going to put the filter in, and we're going to put the, there's a O-ring gasket. If you're shopping around for used ones of these, make sure it has the spring. A lot of times those get missing somehow, and that causes nothing but problems. There's an O-ring gasket that goes inside here. We'll put that in. So I restore these, so if you've got one that's in bad shape, you can send it to me, and I'll sandblast it and powder coat it and put the decals on it and make it look nice. Uh, they have different sized nuts, different ones, different years. This particular one is a 22. Uh, see, 19s. I don't think the Frams... Uh, there's two different size nuts for the frames also, and there's one version that has like a gigantic butterfly thing on it. So that's that. I think it looks pretty good.